Well, what do you think of that? Um, face you to me. You're Dr. Randall, no? Yes. You hear me? I just... You're part of the Globe Tribune, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Say, there's a woman on that boat with the name of Agatha Bruce. Yeah? What about her? Ghost hunter. She's a sister of that uh, missing Dr. Brewster. Good story. My great story. Trying to sell your bootleg gas? Yeah, well, screwball, I guess. That's her over there with the furpy. Oh. I guess I'm awfully glad you're here. Come on, Bonnie. George, it's terrible. What happened? Miss Brewster? Yes. I'm from the Globe Tribune. Well? Miss Brewster's too upset over her brother to give an interview right now. Yes, another time. Oh, well, uh, may we have a picture? Go ahead, Bonnie. A pretty smile now. Smile? Oh, excuse me. Thanks. Now, about that interview, when may I see you? Oh, uh, some other day, the next week. Where? Miss Brewster will phone you. Oh, let her give you the brush off. It's a great story. Hey, what is this, anyway? Okay. If you'd only have listened to me, all this wouldn't have happened. What about the police? Haven't they been able to trace it? Fortunately, no. Fortunately? Yes, very fortunate. Agatha Jim isn't lost, except for this world. She's hidden away at Springdale in the old mansion. You'd be better off in the family cemetery plot. George. I'm sorry, but it's true. It's what? Six months ago, we made an astounding discovery. It was so far in advance of anything that's been done to date that... Jim decided to be the guinea pig for this experiment himself. I tried to talk him out of it, but you know how stubborn he is when he gets an idea in his head. He made the experiment, and unfortunately, it was a great success. So great, in fact, that we've been unable to counteract the result. And Jim, he's... He's still alive, isn't he? Yes. And the story of his disappearance was a fake? Yes, I put that out to cover the whole affair up so that if the worst comes to the worst, it saves him a great deal of unpleasant life. George, what does he mean? Prepare yourself for a great shock. I do.
shouldn't have brought her here. Stop shaking, Agatha. I will hurt you. Oh, you oh. Open the door. Stay back! you coming with that ghost yarn? I couldn't get a thing out of her at the boat. Now I'm going through the board. Boy, is she a screwy dame. I don't want that junk. I want a personal interview. And get me some more pictures. Good ones. Barney Smell. I'm sending someone down to replace him. Name's Billy Mason. Okay, Chiefy. Now hop to it. And don't call me Chiefy. Okay, Chiefy. Going into the army has sure done something to Barney. Looks more like a ghost than a ghost hunter to me. Now, just what could have happened to get such a piece of tripe? Well, it's out of focus. It's underexposed and overdeveloped. And besides, there are two pictures on the same negative. Is that all? <laughs> yes. Yes, sir? Take Miss Mason down to Carter. She's taking Barney's place. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Martin, for giving me the break. I'm sure I can... Ah, forget it. But remember, I'll be satisfied with just one picture on each negative. I'll do the very best I can. Carter? Billy Mason. Okay, sit down and take the load off your feet. I'll be with you in a minute. Nice. What went by when I wasn't looking? I see you know your perfume. I know that one. In fact, I'll never forget it. The first girl I met that used it either. Nice? Yeah, but she liked it. So? She told me her boyfriend was in boot camp. Okay, Mason, let's go. Mason! I'm Billy Mason. Huh? I said I'm Billy Mason. I'm taking Barney's place wherever he is. Well, why didn't you say so? Come on, let's go.
spring, if I may ask. The spring day, old Leo, Brewster Holmes. An interview with a screwy old dame to get some pictures. Good pictures, I hope. Why the I hope? A good reporter generally gets an interview. I'm worried about the interview. It's the pictures I'm worried about. Oh, I get it. Well, listen, Mr. Brisbane. You take care of your end of it and don't worry about mine. My pictures will be as good as your interview. And maybe a little bit better. Tucky, little wench, aren't you? Well, I've had to hold my own against four brothers all my life. I guess I can handle a four F like you. Four F? And what gives you the idea I'm in four F? Well, I can't think of any other good reason you're not in uniform. Listen, baby, you're looking smack dab at a 14 carat 1A. No dependence, physically perfect, with a personal letter in his pocket from the president. 30 days from now, I'll be Jefferson B. Carter, Seaman Third Class. Oh. Oh, yes. 30 days past September, April, June, and Jefferson B. Carter. Well, I'll take back the part of it about 4F, but the rest of it still stands. It makes me wish I was in the Navy right now. That makes two of us. All right, sailors, shove off.
The screen's around. Jim has probably the scene who it is in the televisor. He won't give himself away. Oh, remember me? From the boat? Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Uh, this is Billy Mason. I brought her along uh, to get some more pictures. The others were lost. Uh, they weren't good. Well, uh, I'm afraid it's too dark in here for pictures. Oh, no, it'll be perfectly okay. Oh, sure, it's okay. She makes pictures in tunnels. <laughs> Okay. All right. I'll be going, Miss Brewster. Just keep on with the prescription I gave. Oh, well, I, I will, Doctor. Won't you come into the library? If you don't mind, Miss Brewster, I'd like to know a little more about your work, your book, etc. I think our readers would be interested. Oh, certainly. What's this for now? Thanks. I hope you'll pardon the appearance of this room, but I don't dare say the thing. The entity that has this house would not appear. It is fine. Sing only to the old familiar surroundings. This house is really haunted? Certainly, child. All houses are haunted. All persons are haunted. Long as the spirits follow us everywhere. We are never alone. This room is crowded right now. I don't see anything. Oh, you can't see. Any more than you can see the room. But they can destroy you if sufficiently in any way. Love spirits are honest, gentle, and kind, and only want to bring happiness to you. But the few are evil, and having been wicked in life, are wicked in death, and only haunt the scenes of death and life, reverence and mercy. Hmm. That must have been the one we heard when we drove up, huh? Yes. You heard it? Bye. 
What did Bangor say? Not yet, Prophet Romer. Go in, let me go through. I I told you he couldn't help me. Galloping goes himself, but it. If I felt all right, that wouldn't get a laugh out of me. All right, let's go. You got any gas? What a lot of hooey. The galloping goes, huh? I don't know who she thinks she's kidding. Meaning what? Does that record sound like the noise we heard when we drove up? Come to think of it. No. Right. Well, oh, there's something screw about the whole thing. I feel it in my bones. Maybe it's rheumatism. Yeah. No. Lord, it's years of cooperation. We need to die like this. We won't get away with it. Oh, please, James, stop me. Oh, leave me alone. Get up, get up there. Get out, or... Him to wait in the library. I'll be right back. Very good. Do you suppose anybody saw you come in here? No, I'm sure not. Stay right here. Don't take a chance on leaving. Oh, the captain sent me over to get some more soap on that roof of the insurance case. But I've already told him all I know. Oh, well, there's a few things I'd like to check on. Very well. When's the last time you saw Miss Presby? Is that right?
I could drop in tomorrow sometime and... Oh, there's just a few more things. Uh, where do I get the sound? Is it again? No, I didn't do it. It's in the picture. It was there when I shot it. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Maybe this is the galloping ghost and Glen Raven or whatever his name was in the flesh. Remember those sounds? Yeah. Is that the way a gorilla sounds? I'm not much of a tar there, but could be. So, the butler of the guy we saw there was murdered by an ape. I wonder. 
Yes. Try to sell the boss a bill of goods. Sure, you want me to go? No, no, honey, you stay right there. Say, maybe you're my lucky number. I got it, I got it. I got it. What? The fluid. The finest fluid. You know you've got it? Yeah. That's what I expected. You said he wouldn't. He did. I did. He is going to make the injection. He refuses. I tell him. Yes. I mean just what I said. to the police to say to you yesterday and made myself almost as guilty as you are. But I won't incriminate myself any further. I'm through. Oh, no, you're not. Threats will do you no good. If necessary, I'll go to the police and tell them the whole story. You'll do as Jane says. Go on, hurry. Ready, doctor?
Just that old festival in the paper man again, Miss Brucey. I thought you said you'd phone me before coming back. I, I did. But, but uh, your phone seemed to be always busy. Or uh, out of order, maybe. Have you tried your phone lately? It could be, you know. Oh, those things get out of order. Funny thing, I know of fellow that had a telephone that was always out of order. Well, uh, shall we uh, go in with the galloping goats? Give me much time to go to my house, Mr. Carter. Oh, I'm not hearing that post business. No? No? I bought the same in that story for a sunny edition. But uh, he does want me to work on your brother's case. Has the police got anything definite to report? No, he's completely disappeared. I can understand it myself. It's dreadful. Yeah, suppose work had anything to do with it? A uh, nervous breakdown or amnesia? Anything like that? I don't know. I was in Europe, as you know. I haven't seen him in over a year. But his work was difficult, wasn't it? Seems to me I heard something about his terrific experiment. Yes, he has a very scientific mind. Yeah, just like my uncle. <laughs> his house was always full of guinea pigs and rats, even monkeys, big ones, too. <laughs> Scared the daylights out of my head. So? Yeah, one day she just up and left them, and I don't blame him. Just imagine that door right now and coming face to face with a gorilla. Oh, but I suppose you're used to that sort of thing. I understand that your brother did a lot of work on gorillas and apes, didn't he? I would know. He never discussed those things with me. Well, I guess you can't be any help to me. I'll uh, just have to dig up what I can for myself. Okay. I need
for you. Why? Well, don't ask questions. Come on. There have been three murders committed in this precinct, and not one single suspect brought in. Where's that put us? Right on the spot. They all look like they were committed by the same person, Captain. Outside of that, we haven't got a single thing to go on. Uh, thanks, Captain. I suppose you expect the killer to come in and give himself up, huh? <laughs> now, listen. Get out and get that guy. Or I'll transfer you so far back in the sticks. The bears will be chasing up the trees. Come on, now, get out. Get out. Comfortable? Well, hello, stranger. Where have you been all week? I thought your draft board had caught up with you. I've been parked in the bushes outside the Brewster home so long, I nearly took root. Waiting for the galloping ghost to go by? No, I've got a hunch there's something truer than ghosts in that joint. Well, why didn't you let me in on it? Because if my hunch is correct, it's no place for a bait in the woods like you. Oh, by the way, if you need any more body pins, you'll find mine in the second drawer. <laughs> Thanks. Absolutely no. And don't call me again. The police have been here several times this week. They may trace the call. What is the How soon did you be here? He's not. in the hair, a new pair of lips, and you're as good as new. Where are you going? Back to my listening post. Roosters? Uh-huh. Can I go with you? Uh-uh. Well, why not? I'll face the little girl. There's too many snakes, frogs, and lizards. Big ones. Big as alligators. And besides, if I have to run, I don't want to wait for you. Oh, uh, don't wait up for me.
Back program. <laughs> Who's going to what?
you over my knee and paddle you good. Don't be a chump. Hey, what are you doing in my car? Who are you anyway? Me? Oh, I'm the author of the story. Screwy idea, wasn't it? 